Welcome to Pensions 101, a series designed to help you make sense of pensions. My name is Bat and today we're discussing how to set a good retirement goal. Are you wondering how to set a good retirement goal? You're not alone. The good news is you can set one in a few simple steps. There are a few factors to consider when setting your retirement goal, such as your age and health, your income and expenses, your lifestyle, and your risk appetite. Let's break those down. Your age and health shape how many years you have to save for your retirement and how long those savings may need to last you. The younger you are when you start saving, the more time your money has to grow. And if you're in good health, you may live well into old age meaning you'll need to save more money to sustain your lifestyle in retirement. It can be tricky balancing your daily needs with future dreams. Your budget plays a practical role, determining how much you can save. The key is finding a sustainable balance where you're saving consistently without feeling deprived. Saving for retirement is a marathon, not a sprint, and small, steady steps will get you there. Your desired retirement lifestyle determines how much you'll want as a monthly income from your pension. Retirement can be a long and happy time, so it's important to make sure you have enough money saved up to enjoy it. The Pensions and Lifetime Savings Association, PLSA, has developed the Retirement Living Standards. These set out how much income is needed for a minimum, moderate or comfortable retirement, either as a single person or as a couple. It breaks down your desired lifestyle into expense categories, from car upgrades to holidays. There are even smaller everyday expenses like birthday presents and clothes shopping. And finally, your risk appetite. This is how much uncertainty you're willing to accept in exchange for the potential for a higher return. As pensions are usually invested in the stock market, it's possible to get back less than you invest. Your risk tolerance may change over time. For example, you may choose to invest heavily in the stock market while you're young and reduce your exposure to risk as you approach retirement. Once you've considered all of these factors, you can start to set your retirement goal. You can use a retirement calculator to help estimate how much money you need to save. PensionB has a range of free calculators that make retirement planning simple. With our pension calculator, you can see how long your current pension could last you in retirement. By using the sliders, you can enter your saving circumstances such as your current age, desired retirement age, current pension value, and your desired annual retirement income. It will also show you how your savings may grow over time, taking into account factors such as an assumed inflation rate and an assumed investment growth rate. The pension calculator is a great way to get a rough idea of how much money you'll need to save to achieve your desired retirement. With your goal in mind, the next step is working towards it. Here are two common ways to calculate how much to save for retirement. First, saving a percentage of your post-tax salary each month. The general rule of thumb is to save 15% of your paycheck, but this may vary depending on your circumstances. For example, if you're a higher earner with more disposable income, you may want to save closer to 20% or 25%, whereas if you're a lower earner with less disposable income, you may want to save 10% to start with. Second, instead of having your contribution levels tied to your income, you could use your pension goal to calculate your monthly contributions. This may involve contributing more when you're younger and less when you're older. For example, in retirement, you may only need around 80% of your current annual income to live comfortably. Your saving style is personal. Some people may enjoy a set and forget approach and set up a monthly contribution via a standing order. Others might want to contribute more flexibly when they're financially able to. It's also important to remember that your retirement goal doesn't need to be set in stone. As your circumstances change, you may need to adjust your goal. 
the amount you can contribute will also change as you go through different life stages. For example, if you're having a child or getting married, you may need to save more money towards your short-term goals. But on the flip side, when you next get a pay rise, you may be able to save more money. The most important thing is to start saving for retirement as early as possible. The sooner you start, the more time your pension pot has to grow. And the more you have saved, the more comfortable your retirement will be. By following these tips, you can get started on the right track. Remember, pensions are an investment, and as with all investments, the value of your pot can go down as well as up over time. Your capital is at risk. Thanks for watching.